i hope children sub so this one adjective equivalent is clear for you now we go to the second part of that that is b position of an adjective position of an adjective where the adjective adjective is positioned or placed in a sentence okay so there are two type of writing it okay positioning in two places that is given here now as a first one an adjective is generally used before its noun that is what i have given you plenty of examples in the beginning about the dark horse uh, white horse and long hair etc there that is the normal use of or that is the word generally used like that adjective comes just before the noun okay and here the examples three examples are given there the unicorn is an imaginary animal not animal imaginary that is wrong imaginary animal then next one is cunning fox cunning fox fox is the noun and cunning is the adjective and brave general general is the noun and brave is the adjective use so generally this is the usage okay and it is called this use of an adjective is called its attributive use that is called its attributive use okay clear children this use of an adjective is called attributive use that is normal okay general case adjective is you always used like this way now we come to the next one that is the predic predicative use second use is predicative use that is second one this used is i mean but sometimes an adjective is used after the verb sometimes it comes adjective is usually and generally it is before the noun but here in these two sentences we see the adjective is used after the verb soon after the verb it is used here the examples you see the child was innocent the child was innocent the child was it is actually innocent is the quality of the child but then it is used in the sentence after the verb was was is the verb there okay so it is used after the after the verb was the child was innocent and next one she looked happy she looked happy happy is the adjective and it is used after the verb in the sentence that is looked okay so here this case it is also correct okay this is also this is correct also usage is correct but it is used in the predicative use it is you it is a predicative case all right first one was attributive and here it is predicative and in this form the adjective is always a complement to the verb the adjective is always a complement to the verb it comes after the verb and it serves as the complement to the verb okay children i hope you understood about the uh, adjective equivalent and the position of an adjective okay now we go to the second third one that is the order of adjective order of the adjective you know that the from, from the very beginning of the grammar class we were seeing about the word order okay how the word should be arranged we cannot similar and you have you remember that one one somewhere you have already studied that shuffled words were given and you had to make meaningful sentences those words when it is written here and there it will not be complete sentence and there may not be any meaning so to make it meaningful there should be an order for the words here for the adjectives also that means in one sentence itself there can be many adjectives two or three or more than that it could be okay so then in that case if only one verb is one adjective is there we know when where to use it but there are more than one then there should be an arrangement and order is there for the adjective and this one children it is given here that you have to study you have to learn it yourself or learn it by heart okay you have to memorize this what is given here quality size quality size come first okay size comes first then quality then age then shape color material type purpose this you have to learn it okay you have to learn there is no other way you have to learn it okay then you see the examples given below the big grand building the big grand building big means the size size come first we don't say grand big building that is wrong we write the size first that is big and quality is grand second one is quality quality grand so a big grand building and second one a short round face a short round face here short is again 
साइस शॉर्ट इज साइस एंड राउंड इज शेप गट इट ना साइस देन शेप सो फर्स्ट साइज विल कम देन शेप इन द थर्ड सेंटेंस ए हैप्पी पीसफुल जर्नी ए हैप्पी पीसफुल जर्नी इट कैन बी हैप्पी इज ए क्वालिटी ओके हैप्पी इज द quality and peaceful is somewhere here what type of journey we had peaceful journey okay a happy peaceful happy is quality and type type is peaceful okay so then next one is a pale red face pale pale is again quality and red is color see color is used after quality only so pale red face and then a dignified old lady dignified dignified is dignified is quality old lady old means it tells about the age okay so quality first dignified first then old okay then next one is a hard wooden seat a hard hard is quality and wooden is the material used okay hard wooden quality comes first then material comes okay next one is a soft comfortable bed soft is again quality and comfortable is the type okay soft comfortable bed again the last example is a smart young man smart young man again smart is quality young is age okay children so then you have to think about this one one uh, reminder is given there remember that minor change in disorder can be made to suit the situation so this is not hard and fast law but there can be little variations in this particular order little variations can be there that may not be wrong okay children all of you understood that now children we go to the next page next page in your book here you will have plenty of examples for adjectives and how the formation of adjectives you will find here the heading is formation of adjectives how do we form adjectives and you see number 1 adjectives are usually formed from nouns usually they are formed from nouns okay but there are other cases also you'll find the second case second it is adjectives can be derived from verbs also adjectives can be derived in the first case usually they are from the nouns but here adjectives can be derived from verbs also and there is one more this one adjectives can also be derived from other adjectives the formation of adjectives is like this way it can be from usually it is from nouns and there are cases that it comes from verbs also and there are adjectives that is formed from adjectives itself okay so now this this also you have to learn by heart okay children the words which are formed from noun okay two columns are given there plenty are given there for you to learn okay study this noun for noun and the adjective which is formed from that okay girl is the noun and adjective girlish child childish or child like absence absent patience patient okay then we go to the this word advantage advantageous condition conditional administration administrative mercy merciful then come to the last of that confidence confident silent silent then worth worthy or worthless then health healthy worth worthy is positive worthless is negative okay children quarrel quarrelsome so these are the um, adjectives formed from the nouns and usually adjectives are formed from the nouns but now we go to the second case where you will find the adjectives that are derived from the verbs adjectives the verbs are given there and the adjective forms formed from there from the verbs are given there in the i mean just write to that okay move movable eat eatable or edible inhabit inhabitable inflame inflammable prevent preventable and preventive both are there then digest digestive insist insistent agree agreeable tire tiring accept acceptable okay and now the verbs which sorry adjectives which are derived from adjectives you know that these are all adjectives green green field and that is greenish in color that is different way okay elder elderly elder boy elder man sorry elder boy we don't elder boy okay 
ओके एलडर्ली मैन एलडर्ली वुमन ओके देन नेक्स्ट वन इज एडजेक्टिव कॉमिक कॉमिक चार्ली चैप्लिन इज ए कॉमिक कैरेक्टर कॉमिक इज यूज्ड एज एडजेक्टिव देयर बट फ्रॉम दिस एडजेक्टिव अनदर एडजेक्टिव कैन बी फॉर्मड दैट इज कॉमिकल एंड सिक सिकली ओके चिल्ड्रन क्लियर सो दीस आर दिस दिस होल पेज यू हैव टू लर्न योरसेल्फ ओके ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट लर्न इट यू हैव टू लर्न इट बाय हार्ट ओके नाउ वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट पेज दैट इज योर वर्कशीट नेक्स्ट पेज व्हाट यू हैव इज द वर्कशीट एंड चिल्ड्रन i suggest that all of you try you use only pencil okay so that you can erase it afterwards use pencil and make the adjective from the word given words okay there are some words given there and then the columns i mean lines are there that is for you to work and um, children you make make an effort to write the adjective from the given word okay given word all of you write it and then afterwards i will send the answers to you but in meantime what you have to do is that you do the work yourself and send me the answers in whatsapp all right children so let me see the photo the image you will send to me after writing and i will see how many of you have made the effort okay and all of you must do that okay please try to work out yourself this particular page and then you send it to me and afterwards i will send the correct answers okay even if it is wrong don't worry you may make it okay all right children thank you for listening bye